Still in the spirit of Christmas, the Federal Road Safety Commission, FRSC, uh, have launched the Zero Alcohol Campaign to sensitize drivers on the dangers of driving under the influence of alcohol. Fully armed with breathalyzers, the Commission took the campaign to the popular Jabi market in Abuja to test and sensitize drivers on safety precautions during the Christmas and New Year period. Tunjoye reports. Deploying technology at this time is surely a good way to keep commercial drivers on check during this festive period. That is why breathalyzer has been deployed across all FRSC command. A quick test is conducted here for some drivers. We are not happy that uh, out of four people that we tried, one person is there. Uh, we will have loved a situation where we score 100%. So that is to say that uh, if you look at the fraction, it means that uh, some people are seeing the habit of uh, uh, drinking and driving. So we will continue to intensify public enlightenment, advocacy, and public education <coughs> on the dangers inherent in this habit. One of the reasons for uh, increasing crashes during this period has been attributed to drunkenness. And uh, we do not want to take uh, any stone unturned. And that is why we have given feeds to start to randomly test drivers uh, with alkalizer. As I'm doing it here, it's uh, happening in so many commands. So that the essence is that if you should test positive to the alkalizer, you will not be allowed to drive. And by and large, you will be able to save some lives because uh, a drunk um, man, somebody who is drunk, is uh, waiting for a crash to happen. So we have given fit to start to go out to test this alcoholizer and breathalyzers on would be drivers, the drivers that will drive out during this period, so that at least we can cut the crashes that will happen minimally to the BRS minimum. We are always cooperating with the road safety because what they are doing on the road, it may not be 100% perfect to our members, but we know that they are there because of the life of the citizens of this country. And we really appreciate that. For travelers, their complaint is on the increase in transportation fare, which they believe is on the high side considering the state of Nigeria's economy. Compared to last year, there's a slight increment in the fare. I'm traveling to Kaduna presently right now, and the fare is just a 200, 300 naira difference compared to last year, because I'm paying 1,500 naira this year. As at last year, some of them, they collected 1,000 naira and some collected 1,200 naira. Where I'm going to right now, they are calling 13,000 naira. That is an, uh, um, Anambra in Oka. That is where I'm going to. It's 13,000 naira, yes. And there is no passenger also. This one, the price is high and there is no passenger. So that is what we are facing right now. This initiative by the Federal Road Safety Commission is expected to reduce road accidents ahead of 2020. From Abuja, Sunjioye, TV360 News.